Okay, guys, Giant Fly 69 coming at you right now. And look, you know that I ordered the Orchid, all right? Now, I found one of my old K-Funds. This is not the K-Fund Lite Plus, or the k This is just the regular K-Fund, but it's not the K-Fund Lite Plus. Because, as you notice, it doesn't have the screws on the side. The Allen Post screws, all right? Now, the other K Fun Light Pluses and stuff like that, I might have tossed them out but saved the screws and stuff because I do that from, from my old Addies and stuff like that. Alright, but the thing about this one is this one has the screw, okay, that's tapered. It's, it's, it's tapered inward at an angle, okay. Now, when you get the Orchid, depending upon where you get it, see how that screw sits in there nice and deep like? Okay. Now, I don't know if I can get... No? Huh? Anyways. Okay, and you saw how the other one sat, how it sat, kind of protruded? Well, that other one sat deep in this one. But, it was leaking fluid. So what I did was, I took the screw out of the bottom of that cape fund and threw it in here. Yeah, I know. It was kind of dumb to order the orchid when I had the cape fund laying around. But like I said, I didn't find this cape fund... In my box of vape stuff that I have of things that I use, things that I don't use, and well, mostly stuff that I don't use, okay, until a few days ago. So that's why I pillaged and plundered that screw off of it. But getting back to the getting back to the K Fun Light and the K Fun Light Plus, all right, the Allen wrench that's right there is off the K Fun Light Plus, but the the screws, the hex screws, all right? If you're looking for good, hardened, the black tech, the black grub screws or whatever that take the Allen key or take the hex key or whatever, some of those will fit in this little guy right here, which is the Velocity clone, all right? Now, the Velocity clone in and of itself is a good device. I love that device. Just don't overdrip it because, believe you me, if you overdrip it, you are going to wind up with a horrible, horrible mess all over the top of your device. Yeah, that's the K-Fun Light. I mean, that's the iTaste 2.0 that's sitting on top of, yeah, antiquated technology there. And then again, tube mods, gotta love them. You, you see the Aero Tanks and the Pro Tank and stuff like that. Also... Hold on, let me let me pause you out and see if you guys remember these, okay? Because this goes back a ways. Yeah, this here's a soak tub where I where I put the parts and pieces and stuff like that. If I'm going to soak them out, I'll put extremely hot hot water in there and I'll let them sit for for days and days on end. Now I'll change the water and well, I forgot to do it on this one, but this here is the Odysseus. Now the Odysseus is kind of different because this here is your juice flow control. This here is where your wick is at, and it's got the nice little ceramic piece and your coil sitting here and all that. And this is your 510 on your Odysseus. Okay, but that is a long time ago. That was very, very popular way back when. And man, that was expensive. But don't get me wrong. With um, places like um, Tobacco, their motto back then was "Together Best." I don't know if it still is, but they're the maker of this of this here Odysseus. Okay, now Tobacco back back in the day was the king of clones, and now they're starting to do a few originals. But way way back in the day, if you wanted something clone something that was a clone that was in the U.S. market, you went to Tobacco. You know. But that's the thing. Everybody everybody back then had clones. The only thing is, is some folks weren't as nice about it. They had their clones and all that in their shops and they were selling them off as originals. You know, which kind of sucks when you go in to, to buy a tube mod in San Antonio and they're trying to sell you a clone for $75. And then you look online, the original, brand new one, 
still in the box is 7295 and that's with tax and shipping you know that's not right some of the shop owners do that so that, that way they can drive up their that way they could drive up their their profits and that and that was back in the day that was a year and a half ago now things have changed people know the clones more they know what they sound like they know what they feel like because a lot of people have been around them so just be aware of what you're buying because sometimes you're not always getting the original even though it comes in, in an original looking box it may not be the original it may be a clone check to see if it has the on the authenticity codes for it and stuff like that go online go to the websites and punch them in and register your stuff believe me there are a lot of folks that think that if they could get over and make a profit they'll do that but the local shops flying vapor when it was open was a reputable shop he told me this was a clone when i bought this one at 40 something bucks you know and <clears throat> Joe over at um, Vapor House the Vapor House in Lytle Texas located on Main Street I've asked her about some of the products she has on her shelves they're all original. They all have their scratch and stuff, little scratch and sniff authenticity codes and stuff like that. So that, that way you can actually go to the company website, plug in the numbers, and say, "Hello, I got one of your products." You know. So just be aware of what you're buying, okay? If you're buying original, buy original. If you're buying clone, make sure you're paying clone prices, not original prices. Please, folks, check out your stuff. Okay, don't get taken advantage of like some folks did way back in the day. And like some folks were doing around around the Alamo City. For those of you who don't know where the Alamo is at, look it up. I'm not going to mention shop names that I've been in in there where, where they've literally tried to sell me a clone for an original price. For an authentic manufacturer price and that's not right. But I do mention that to folks. I do mention when folks ask me about that particular shop that I've been in. I tell them. Because I don't want them to get taken. You know. And it kind of sucks. When someone else gets taken. But if you don't ask your fellow vapors. Your fellow vapors can't help you. So when it comes to vaping. Remember ask your fellow vapors. Oh and by the way if you are planning a trip to California. Just be advised. Be advised that the city of Long Beach has imposed a full vaping ban. You cannot even vape in the vape shops in Long Beach, California. Okay? Some of the other cities are being a little bit more smart about it. They're not being as ignorant as Long Beach, but hey, it is what it is. As Johnny Fly says, Johnny Fly 69 always tells you vape good, vape happy. If you support vaping, don't forget Safada when it comes to your shops. And please do not forget to support organizations like CASA, NotBlowingSmoke.org, and stuff like that. This is just a random view of what I have on the table, you know, and a piece of antiquated, real antiquated equipment that I found that I thought you guys would get a kick out of. All right. Um, vape... Vape safe, vape happy, every day you're vaping it is a day that you're happy, and every day that you're happy, you're living happy, and you're living a lot longer because you're not lighting up tobacco products. Alright, catch you later.